Okay, bless the Lord. Let's turn in our Bibles uh, to Acts. Och i apostlarsövande. Acts chapter uh, 15. Apostlarsövande kapitel 15. And let's um, start where we ended. Så för att börja här så blir det gav oss först. Last time. So just to recap for those of you who were not here. We began talking about the tabernacle of David. Even though we didn't get into the tabernacle of David. But we started laying some foundation. The foundation of the tabernacle of David is the point that it's a rebuilding. Och poängen vi vi tar på något sätt av det är att det är en restoration. It is it, it, it is a restoration. Det är en restoration. So we got <laughs> yeah, we got the Yes, we got talking about restoration. Vi tar så om enterbitching och enterbitching. And how that the word of God promises us. Jesus himself said that Elijah must come first. Jesus showed us Jesus Christ at Elias must come first before the coming of the Lord. Ah then come Herod. Well, his first coming was preceded by John the Baptist. Och sista kommer han så att här var mynt av Johannes Döparen. And no, it was preceded by not Herod. Det 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 var Johannes Döparen som kom åt det. Yes. He prepared the way for the Lord. Han fyrde räka i vid Herod. And John the Baptist, Jesus called him Elijah. Och Jesus kallar sjöver Johannes Döparen för Elias. The angel told John's parents before he was born that he would have the spirit and the power Amen. of Elijah. Amen. Anden skriver för anden att han skulle behöva komma i kraft och anta Elias. He was not physically Elijah. Han är inte fysiskt Elias. And physical Elijah is not coming in the end times. Och fysiskt Elias kommer inte i enda tiden. It is the spirit and the power och kraft av Elijah that is going to come. So Jesus said. Elijah must first come and restore all things. Och han säger här att Elias måste komma först och ändå rensa alla lut, allting. And when I when I see that, och då är det svårt att säga det. Restore all things. Ändå rensa allting. Three words. Three or. Those three words. Have the three or in there. Tell me the total condition. See you, man. Of the end time church. Nothing needs restoring when it's in good condition. Only that which is broken needs to be restored. You don't restore a house that is in good condition. But those three words, restore all things, it lets me know that we are looking at a church age that is broken the system of Christianity is broken. The, the system of church is broken. Clearly how God's people do things is, is, is a broken system. That needs to be restored. And within this restoration, we, we looked at in Isaiah 43 where the Lord says, I will do a new thing. God is going to do something new in this restoration. When you restore a house, you don't necessarily make it look like it did. You make it better. You make it for what fits today. Ah! 
casa tiro down. Some uh, old houses when they are restored. No que como de usar deverá restaurar Ryan. They keep some of the old. So very much man. And they bring in some of the new. So como a de inventar um novo. And this is what Jesus said the kingdom of God was like. Os soldados que Ruiz gosta for a ver assim. He said the kingdom of God is like a scribe. Tiga som ein ein skrift skriftlärder. A scribe is one who wrote the law. He ein, constantly wrote the law. And the script corner, but I'm so scribe, I law and a scribe. He was like a printer. Han var akkurat som en printer. He was always writing the law and giving out the law and writing the law. Och han skriver law och han skriver och och tar för ut att tvinga. And Jesus said the kingdom of God is like a scribe. Jesus said, "The rich gods are from a slicker scriptarder that brings out of his storehouse." So Timber or Tekke from Gamster room so you know that which is old yes. and new. Yes, the Gamart or Nux. Hallelujah. Amen. So we we love the old. So we eskat the gamla. We love what God has given us. We eskat as God the Jewish. We love our the experiences that we have. We eskat the upplevelser som vi har. It's real. It's real. It's alive. It's living. But it's not enough. Men det är inte nog med for this end time move of God. Till hela enda tid är rörande Gud. We need this new thing. Vi har tarv av så mycket att hinna om. That God said He's going to bring. In this restoration, hallelujah. There's going to be something new, fresh, different, and yet totally old. Because there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new with God. Just because God's bringing it to you new, it's not new with God. So whatever the move of God is going to be, it will be found, supported, and backed up with the ageless word of God. Hallelujah! So much of this new thing that they are talking about in the churches today. Oh, this is a new day, new culture, new generation. So that also we have a new day, a new, a new culture. So this is why we do things differently. But you, they can't back it up. They can't take me to a scripture and a verse. So where is that new coming from? What is the source of that new? Clearly, it's not God. When God brings the new, it's going to be a day of refreshing. It's going to be a day of rebuilding, a day of restoration. Yeah, we up pitching, we up frisking. A day when the kingdom will come and the will of God will be done. So it goes right to chamber. Will the answer be found? In and through God's people. Oi, oh, just no God's fault. So that's kind of where we were last night. Had the hair where say we were on silence. Sort of, kind of, kind of. Oh, my soul can see ya. You can always review and. Bring something new. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Okay. I'm an axe. So let's read this one more time. So we will this one, and then we will strike out. So far, that's that. I'm in chapter fifteen, and I'm going to start in verse fifteen. With the text, Apostle John fifteen, fifteen. And to this agree the words of the prophets as it is written. We had a subspeller or prophetana. Some scribe here. After this, I will return, or I will repeat. I will turn back and busy myself. And the head has got a comma after. It's got chela the end of here. It's got a little bit of a mess on. And I will build again the tabernacle of David. Which is yeah, you the Bible says it back back to front from mine, which has fallen yeah. down. Yeah, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up. Ja, tofter hennar skall det bygga upp och rensa hennar upp efter. The New Testament does not talk about the restoration. 
of the tabernacle of Moses. Or Solomon's temple. Oh yeah, there will be a temple. Jerusalem will see a temple. But it won't be God's temple. It'll be Antichrist's temple. There won't be a new temple built on the earth that is the house of the glory of God until the millennium. That is going to be what I call the fourth temple. That is going to be the largest of all of the temples. It's going to be built north of Jerusalem. The landscape is going to be totally changed. Because what Ezekiel describes doesn't fit in the current landscape of Jerusalem. So when Jesus comes back and the war and the battle of Armageddon takes place and fire goes before them, there's going to be a total change of everything that is surrounding Jerusalem. The Jerusalem we know now will not be there. There's going to be a new Jerusalem on earth. And in that new Jerusalem, there's going to be a new temple. It's called Ezekiel's temple. Because Ezekiel was the one that saw it. And Ezekiel said, that he saw the Lord sitting on his throne in that temple. The only other thing he saw was the brazen altar. So you see a brazen altar and you see the throne. What's the brazen altar doing there? They made sacrifices on that altar. There are going to be sacrifices. Why would God allow that? Since the fulfillment of those sacrifices has already happened. But God is going to allow that for the sake of the Jews. Because this is what's going to happen. They are going to offer the sacrifices and they will look up and see Jesus sitting on the throne with the glory of God and then they're going to have the revelation this is that that is this and that is how they are going to have the revelation of who the Messiah is. Hallelujah! That is so powerful. So it's going to be prophetic backwards. The, the eyes of prophecy go back in the present and they go forward. There are three eyes of prophecy. Prophecy doesn't just go that way. Prophecy is also present and past because everything in the presence of God is prophecy Jesus Christ he is the spirit of prophecy hallelujah and in the presence of God there is no past present or future because everything is now prophecy is all now God sees everything now what was he sees now what is he sees now what shall be he sees now 
This is why God is so merciful with us. Because we may not be where we should be. But God just doesn't see now. He says where we will be. Where we are going. The purpose and destiny fulfilled. I love it. And this is why when you are in the presence of God. Nothing matters. The past doesn't matter. The future doesn't matter. In the, in the presence of God, there's only one thing that you know. And that is the God that knows. You don't have to know anything else. Just know the God that knows. We're always looking for answers. Oh, I want to understand this. I want to know why. Why, 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 why? How come? Why is this going to happen? Why is this happening? And, and we have these questions. Because we don't spend enough time in the presence of God. Where all answers, where all questions are answered. And yet you know nothing. Because the only thing you know is Him. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Oh boy, I could talk all night about this. The, the presence of God is so so beyond our reasoning. And how it manifests itself, how his presence works. This is why God encourages and commands his people seek my face panim panim hebrew panim means presence seek my presence you, you can you can have a lot of people in a room and if they're all turning that way it's like there's no presence you can be in a room somebody walks in and all you see is their back like, who is that you're not quite sure what's going on and then when they turn around and you see the face then you feel then you, feel, then you become aware it's in the face all of your senses are right here <laughs> the five senses of man sight Show, taste, smell, smell, hearing, and feeling. It's all in the face. And that's the presence of God. Seek my face. Because in my face is everything. In my face is my feelings, my emotions, my law, my word, my commands, my delight, my judgments. It's all in my face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When my children were small, and uh, Le Levi could read my face. And if he and his brother were acting the goat, <laughs> we were sitting at the table and they were acting up. Or they were acting up in church while I was preaching. I had a look. All I had to do was is <laughs> <laughs> Levi was the one. Oh, Levi, I missed it. Look, look, look. The look. The look said everything. Oh, 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 Sean and oh, 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 Utrichtje say yeah. The look said. Utrichtje say yeah. You don't stop. There's two issues that come through. Big trouble. So have a chat to Levi when you get home. Thought that you were home. Hallelujah. So seek my face. So look. And this is what the tabernacle of David is about. The, all of the other pieces of furniture in, in Moses' tabernacle. Which show us the way to the Father. 
But the tabernacle of David, men tabernacle, David is about seeing the Father. It a such a face. Seeing the face. Such a his of Osho. The Ark of the Covenant was at the face. To it at a so man Osho when you held up the Osho. That's where the glory was. He had it turned this guy. And so that was taken and put into the tabernacle of David. So how that let it you or set in the tabernacle David. The face. Osho. The presence of God. Near with God. So the question is, we, we, we've all talked about it. I'm sure you've talked about it or it have thought about it. The tabernacle of David. Tabernacle David. So what is it? How does that work? Well, what are we supposed to do? Oh, we all know the tabernacle of David is about worship. So oh, we just need to worship more. There's a few churches in the USA. They have taken the restoration of the tabernacle of David very, very um, <coughs> literally. Literally. Now, America, our teacher has here tabernacle of David and in their church buildings they have a place called the Tabernacle of David that is open 24 hours a day with people worshiping and so they say God's rebuilding the Tabernacle of David but nothing's happening well, that ain't the tabernacle of David. So what is it? What is the tabernacle? It's a good question, isn't it? Can anybody answer? Say it. Inside here. Inside? Yeah. Did you know it? Experience. You're, you're, you're like that close. Do it so there, Bob. But you see, closer doesn't get you there. Look at me last time. What is it? For the earth. I'll tell you. It's because you're the girl. The tabernacle of David is you. Tabernacle David is it you? I am the tabernacle of David. It's the tabernacle of David. You are the tabernacle of David. You are the tabernacle of David. And when God says, I will rebuild. Or Thai God says, yes, God, enter, bitcha, bitcha, upata. I will raise again. I will restore. I will enter Christ. This is God restoring, building, and bringing to birth something in you. So what is that? So can you get it down? If we just look at the tabernacle of David, this massive tent. That, that I saw in vision one so, night. So, yeah, I thought that saw, you saw the other show. I, I had seen many pictures yes, of the tabernacle. Yes. And they were all like this little wee tent. With the ark in it. And you know, just big enough to fit the ark. Yeah, I don't think so. Something just didn't fit right right with me. You know, there's there's no description of the tabernacle. There, there's nothing that says how big it was, what material it had, nothing. It just says that there were 4,000 instruments and 288 singers that played and sang 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for 40 years, non-stop. It couldn't be a little tent. 4,000 instruments takes a lot of work. <laughs> so one night I see this vision of this massive tent. And you know how tents have flaps that you can close down, zip them up. The flaps of David's tabernacle were open. What was on the inside was no secret. The whole nation saw the ark. They all saw the glory. It was the glory that drew them. So if I am the tabernacle of David, 
om eer ta med nakken David. I've got to open my flaps. So when you open them, you hear flaps. So that flaps. what is in me so that's not that's can shine. Can shine. Can I shut a higher? Can come out of me. Can come up under your Am I making sense to anybody? Yeah. Yes. Amen. This is the problem with. All of us and the church world today. Men det tror på att vi alla lockar vi att nu sånt kommer hemmen. One of the problems. I know problem. What do we have with it? Vad är vad vi den i? Who and what are we displaying? Vad är det vi skulna? Who are we showing for? Vad är det vi visar fram? Our doctrines. Ja, då lockar han. Our squabbles. Uh, disagreements. Okay, okay, that's what we do. Oh, something. You know, whatever it may be, all about me, 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 yeah, me, 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 me. But what about God? That's very good. And His presence. Oh, yeah. His ark. His ark. But you see, you can't shine forth with the ark from the the presence and glory from the ark of God if you don't have to the ark of God. To get your skin now, our clothes out, or to do whatever our clothes. Amen. Which means the first thing we got to do we are don't have vista som ska hända. Get the ark. Ja för ursna. We got to bring it back out of bondage. Vi går gå från att bort till ur fängelskap och allt. And what is that? Och vad det här? It is the law of God. Det är law God. The commands of God. Law God. The authority of God. Autoritet God. Amen. The head of God. Head God. Sitting down in our midst as the core, the center, the reason, the purpose. So the middle, so the end of all, so the center of it. And everything revolves. So when all the other runs on earth, on earth, on earth, as it doesn't have so as the air in heaven. Hallelujah! That's so powerful. We could go home now, and we've had a good Bible. 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 Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. Okay, uh, go with me. Let's slow up. To let's see where we go first. Go with me to Psalm. Chapter forty-three. Three of your chapter. Psalm 43. Psalm 3 of your death. Now, there are two tabernacles of David. The inner part is two Davids of tabernacles. People get the two confused. Well, first, blue of her bridge right out has a bow. There's two places that are called David's tabernacle. So the two stood. But they're not the same thing. So let me show you these two. So let me show you they call Hesabaya and show you how it fits into the end time restoration of God. Hallelujah. This to me, it's like it's like putting a child in a candy store. So I slap on a little button and let's do another slick putty. And say, have anything you want. Oh, see every button that father has to do And that child just goes crazy. Oh, I thought button the boom better garbage. This is how I feel about this subject. So that's fully uh have you chance to um at the end. Because once God started to open my eyes to see this, to the gold up the aim and if you're such a head that my purpose became real. So play end on all the jamar. I saw the end of my destiny. I understood finally who who I am. And why I'm here. To to understand this whole thing about David's tabernacle. Is to establish in you. The bridge between the sun and the father. That's why the tabernacle of Moses was a picture of the son. The temple of Solomon, a picture of the father. The Moses are tabernacle where the son and Solomon's temple where the father. But in between, the thing that connected these relationships was David, Dod, love. David, the Dod, the magic carriage. It was the love. The magic carriage. Everything from this point is about love. Alt fra her fra til den der kan vi carriage. 
during the time of the law, which of course the law continued in the Temple of Solomon, but the Temple of Solomon didn't move. But the Temple of Solomon It remained. It was stable. It was rooted. It was steadfast. The Tabernacle of Moses wandered around for 300 50 years through dry places it, it was it was a morbid it was a, a difficult hard experience packing it up Carrying it, putting it up again, make sure everything's in place, and then packing it up, carrying it some more. It was, it was tough, but it was what brought them to where God needed for them to be. It brought them to Christ, as it were. It brings us to this place on Zion, where love takes over. It's no longer because I've got to do that, because God said I've got to do that. You know, we do that all the time. Talk to me. Yeah, we do. Oh, I'm going to do it, God. I'm going to do it, but I don't want to do it. That's how it, that's how it is. So that's it. You know where you are when you still feel that way. Oh, 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 oh. We're still over here. With the air stuff like packing here. the building and packing the building and moving around. Yeah. Yeah. Until one day, we go get that ark. So and we build a house. A House of love, of care, like a house of worship. A till being a worship means to bow. Till being worship a bunch of an ear. What's the, been the problem all along? What's the problem? Yeah, what do you know? We don't bow down. We bunch of awkward ish. Amen. This is the problem. Yes. Had to throw my like shit. David was a worshipper. David was a He knew how to bow down. He knew how to bow down. Just read through the Psalms. And you see everything David said about bowing down. You don't see that in the in the in the law. Um, uh, laws of Mo or the books of Moses. Can't say about it. It's Moses' book, no. It was just walking through, walking through. Genka or Jera or. Oh, I want to go back to Egypt. Yeah, I'm Egypt. Oh, I'm so sick and tired of all this. I don't want to go anymore. Oh, let's just build a calf and get over it. So, so, I just What is that? You all know what I'm talking about, right? So we all know where we are, right? We yeah. meet the <laughs> Or I should say, we know where we are not. We we meet every day. But God is trying. God is trying. God doesn't try to do anything. God does it. Good chair. God is giving us a vision. Good chair, but often and a show. A vision of purpose. And and a vision to be at the end of Reason and destiny. Or and a usher at the end of And for those who have an ear to hear, we will see. So for me, that's it. Finally, I've got a role to play in this. And God wants to restore in me a place where his throne can rest. Where his glory can reside. This is the tabernacle of David. Thank you. Yeah. Hold, hold your finger in Psalms. Look a finger in the middle now. Psalm one. We'll go there in a second. Just, just go to First uh, Peter. Chapter two. Chapter two. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, in First Peter chapter two. I'd love to teach on this chapter one day. It's. The whole chapter. All It is. It is. It's so explosive. It's explosive. 
But let's just stop in verse 9. But you, 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 that's what you say to me. But you are a chosen generation. Men tid är då utvalt generation. Allt. Okay. I'm, I'm having a hard time not stopping here. I'm oh. talking about all these things. I'm going to move on. <laughs> we'll get there. Kom yeah. här. A royal priesthood. Konkaliger prästerskap. Mm -hmm. Or priests, kings and priests. Konka prästar. A holy nation. A hailer chow. A peculiar people. Oknar folks. That you should do what? Att du skulle göra vad? Kunjera. 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 what? Kunjera vad? His qualities. Dikter. His qualities. His qualities. Yes, it's part of that. Mm -hmm. part of it. What, what, what are we going to do? Well, why, why? Oh, we are a chosen generation. We are, we are a royal priesthood. We, we are a holy nation. We are a peculiar people. And we stop. What's the purpose of this chosen generation? What's the purpose of this restored people? That God chooses in the end times. Well, what, what are we here for? In the English it says, to show forth the praises of God. The, basically, the glory of God. Third goats are the to show forth. A voice of Ram. Now, if I closed all the curtains, om er kort i alla gardiner vidare, and it's dark outside, om det är mörkt ute, there's nothing showing forth. Så är det antjes som skyndar ut. That you can't see it. Så är det antj. There's no light coming from the inside. Antj är allt som kommer in från fram. You got to open the curtains. Om man går i gardiner fram. When you open the curtains, om man går i gardiner, you what's inside. Side is showing forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is what the tabernacle of David is about. It's about a people, a chosen people, a chosen generation, kings and priests, holy people, a treasure of God. Chosen to do what? To open the flaps. To open the flaps of the tent. And show forth the glory of God. Show the life. Show the power. Show the love. Show the glory. Show the presence. Let people see who you are. But if you don't have anything, there's nothing to show. Amen. Yes. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Hallelujah. If there's nothing there, there, you can open the flaps, but there's nothing to show. There's got to be something there. The world is not looking for you. They're looking for God. They're, they're not looking for your beautiful face. They're not looking for your nice body. There's plenty of that everywhere. They're not looking for that. They're looking for something real. That is powerful. That is life changing. Bless the Lord. Namely, the Lord God. This is what the world is looking for. Oh, they don't know they're looking for that. They're, they're looking, they don't know what they're looking for. But they're looking for God in drugs and in sex and in. In Hollywood and this and that, they're looking for fulfillment. But it's not just that they're uptrending each other, sex or drugs or Hollywood or art. And if the people of God are not the ones lifting the flaps, so Kaira, Gardinen, Avram, and showing what's here.
You know what we do? Now I'm going to be really naughty. You all know I'm naughty, right? <laughs> but I don't mean to offend anyone. So, but I probably will. But that's not my intention. My intention is to speak the truth. The truth does, unfortunately, offend. So, you know what we do? This is what we do in our church. I mean, this church. So we are in service, and the music's going. Worship is going. You know, and you feel a little bit of joy. And then some visitors walk in. What happens when visitors walk in? That little flight we were beginning to take. The bird goes. <laughs> Why? We are so afraid to show what we have. Yeah. We are so afraid to show forth the praises of God. Was David? Absolutely not. Absolutely. He couldn't care what anybody said. Well, you don't understand. This is a little country. And people are going to go out there. They're going to talk about me. And everybody will know tomorrow morning. Did you know what he did in church? Guess what? What's that? Somebody's going to hear that. And they're going to say, Really? I need to go see that for myself. <laughs> so you have a free advertisement. Even though it's a negative one. Then in all of the advertising, someone is going to walk in that door and say, this is what I'm looking for. This is the power I need. You are showing forth the glory of God. But you know what we do? Let when visitors come, let's be like all the other churches. What's the use of that? Then just send them to the other church. God didn't call you to be like all the other churches. He called us to be a chosen generation. Praise God. A peculiar people, a treasure of God. A holy nation. A royal priesthood. A priesthood. Oh, we, we take that. We take a time. Oh, that's a great promise of God. Oh, I believe that. I believe that. That we don't continue. Mm -hmm. That the reason God does that. The reason this restoration is taking place. Is because God wants this world. To see him. And how are they going to see him? It's not the job of the preacher. To show him. It is the job of the body. Yes. It's the job of the people. To open the flag. Yeah. And show forth yeah. the praises of God. So when and if, not if, but when so, visitors come, you know why they're coming here? They're looking for something. Mm. Amen. They're looking for something. Well, we've heard about that strange church up there in out of, out of town. We've heard some strange things about those people. We've heard how they kind of shout. And then they come here and there's no shout. Yeah. And they're like, well, that was just like the church I go to. What's the use of that? I can go find that anyway. Yeah. 
But where are the praises mm -hmm. of God? Yes. 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 Lord Amen. Lord Amen. The glory. Amen. The Amen. presence. Amen. The face. Amen. Seen through you. Amen. This is the tabernacle of death. Yes. Amen. It is the restoration Amen. of people who are so full of love. Yes. Love for God. Yes. Go. That they don't care. What Michael is saying up in the window. Michael, David's wife, Michael. Yes. She looked down, she mocked him. Uh, how grandiose was the king today, dancing before all the women. And he said to her, listen to me. Watch the look down. I wanted to say a bad word, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm preaching, so I'm, I better be good. He's, he said, listen to me. <laughs> it was not before then yeah. that I was dancing. Yes. It was before the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was before the Lord. David had the secret. He understood what the purpose of God was. I must do this before the Lord. And his love took him so much before the presence of God. He didn't know or he didn't care. What was around about him. You're not going to please everybody. Some people will come here and they will mock you and scorn you. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. they did the same to Jesus. They served them, yes. Matter of fact, so much they called him a devil. Yeah, they mm -hmm. him, him, and Jim. They've called me a devil. Mm -hmm. They've actually said that I was Leviathan. Oh, they have said that ever, Leviathan. And I was on my way to out of darkness. Oh, yeah, that's one of the stories. Yeah, but I know among us. And I'm like, oh, I must be doing something right. <laughs> Gotta be doing something right. <laughs> For that kind of talk yes. to come out of the mouth of, not the heathen, out of the mouth of believers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. So David said it wasn't for them, it was for the Lord. Yeah. And all through the book of Leviticus. It talks about the priesthood. So it about old and you know what it says about them? They did this before the Lord. Mm -hmm. They sacrificed before the Lord. Yeah. They washed before the yes. Lord. Yes. Their whole service was before the Lord. It actually had nothing to do with people at all. Not first and foremost. It was before the Lord. This is who the kings and priests are. So let's get a they yes. are before the Lord. Yeah. And then as they do this, the flaps are open. There's glory. Yes. There's power. There is life yes. that stream forth. Bless the Lord of my soul. Yes. Well, now I'm not teaching anything I was going to. Yeah, now I'm going to go right. somewhere else I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> because it kind of fits with this. It's okay. <laughs> I want God to control. Yes. Go to Isaiah 43. Yes. I'll talk about the two tabernacles next week. <laughs> <laughs> we got time. We're still here a bit. Okay, Isaiah chapter 43. Yes. I call this chapter. I give names to everything. Uh, this chapter is called the I chapter. Not I humanity. But I God. 22 times. In the first 15 verses. God says I. Yeah. He says, I have redeemed. Yeah. Have a, just, just translate it. Yeah. I have redeemed. Yeah, we end the rest. Yeah, we end the rest. 
I will be with you. I am the Lord your God. I gave Egypt for your ransom. I have loved you. I gave men for you. Fear not. I am with you. I will bring your seed from the east and the west. I will not hold back. I have created you for my glory. I have made you. I have chosen you. I am before you. I, even I, am the Lord. That is, that, and there is none beside me. I have declared. I have shown. I am God. I am He. I will work. I have sent. I am the Lord. I love it. It never was about you. It has never been about you. God is saying, I did it. I called you. I promised. I fulfilled. I led you. I brought you out. I'm taking you forward. I love you. I redeemed you. I'm upholding you. It's me. All we got to do is to get a hold of the eye. Yeah. And the only way you can do that is get rid of your eye. Or I, 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 I want this. I want this. I want that. I feel this. I feel that. Yeah, amen. We're full of eye. And there's so much eye in us, there's no room for the eye. Room yes. for it. Uh, hold on there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I making sense? Amen. Okay. Yes. Now going down to where I'm going. Yeah. So I'm in verse 19. Let's go back to where we started in this lesson, which I didn't think I'd go here. Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. It says three for the Lord. I do scrappy air noit. Oh. What, did he, what does he say now? Then he says, Now it shall spring forth. Yes. That's good. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you become pregnant, you start to have the voice. Ah, see, right? Yeah. yeah. It starts to show. There is evidence of a relationship. Everybody can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, man. Yeah. Something's happening in you. They see it, but they don't yet see it. Now look at what Is she putting on weight or is she pregnant? I think she's putting on weight. <laughs> and so you don't really know. So the But something is beginning to show. And this spring forth. What he at 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 the at the voice as here at 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 yeah. It means to show. That it means to bring to birth. So he says, I'm going to do a new thing. Something is going to be brought to birth. Now, when the baby is brought to birth, then you see. So Oh, she was pregnant, but we didn't hear it. Now we hear it. We didn't see it. Now we see it. Something is showing forth. There's life. Something has sprung out. God wants to bring something to birth Amen. in this new thing. Something is going to spring out of us. Amen. A child. A man child, a son child, sons of God, brought to birth, showing the praises of God. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord says, 
it will spring forth. Shall you not know? In other words, you are going to see. I, here he goes, I, will even make a way in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. The wilderness. I don't know, what does mean in various? Desert. Well, we have desert. We, we have all you, man. Desert is a place a that's barren place. Dry place. Yes, it's dry. A wilderness has got unrestrained growth. Wilderness is a dance or some some measure all controlled by water. They they like other than all you, man. But it's dry. But it's hard. But things are growing in the desert. There are weeds. Oh, they get uprooted. You know, it just blows me away. Oh. You can try to get these beautiful flowers to grow. At the right of what monster worker Alexander. And you water them. Oh, what you know? And you take care of them. And some of that. And they just they just don't do well. What that you climb up there? And then you look down on the ground. Look at the one here on there. In between the dry cracks. Well, here is one tall scorpion. And here are these weeds just growing like nothing. Oh, yeah. They are climbing up there. So come on. A great picture of us. Oh, the bad things just grow. All in the dryness and in the wilderness. Unrestrained growth. Oh, control our mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And we've all walked through such a wilderness. There are thorns and there are thistles. We had a thorn thistle. There are weeds. You can pull it up today and it's back tomorrow. This is a wilderness. And God said, I'm going to make a way. I'm going to cause a way to be formed for you where, where you can walk and you can run without this 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 wilderness affecting your feet so at yes. he said i will make a way in the wilderness and i will bring rivers in the desert mm. this is all part of the new thing yes. are you reading what i'm reading yes. i'm going to do a new thing the new thing is something is going to come to birth now when this comes to birth when the praises of God are starting to show forth when the character and the nature of Jesus is born in us Amen. you will find a way it's not going to be an issue not only will there be this way clear, concise revealed What's the problem right now? I just don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know which way to take. Oh, that way. No. Oh, this way. Hang on a minute. Oh, that way. Maybe we should do this. Maybe we don't. Yeah, we do. Oh, no, that's not a good one. When, when this happened, when this new thing comes to birth, there's going to be a way in the middle of all this unrestrained growth. Amen. Amen. It is the way that you will see. It is the way that you will know that you will walk in obedience to the Lord God. And in this place, a desert place, there will be rivers, streams. It means prosperity. Where God is going to prosper us in the word, in the spirit, in our lives. Hallelujah. And then he goes on. Let's just, let's just drop down to verse 21. This people. What people? No, what people? What people is he talking about? 
Yes. But who is he specifically talking about? Here? This people. The chosen people. Huh? The chosen people. Thank you. This chosen generation. This people. The ones that bring to birth. That find the way. That drink from my prosperity. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, yes. He said, this people have I formed for themselves. <laughs> oh, there's a buzzer here somewhere. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said something wrong. What does it say? Nice. Thank you. I have formed them for myself. See, I told you a few weekends ago. We need a change of thinking. You are not here for you. Yes. We are here for him. We are here for him. We are not, we don't come here to get tingles and goosebumps and like, oh, now I feel so much better because, you know, somebody prayed for me. Nothing wrong with somebody praying for you. Nothing wrong with you bringing your needs and your burdens. Nothing wrong. But we miss the point. And the point of it all is that I'm formed, I'm created for Him. Not for me. So this people, have I formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. Hallelujah! The same words as in 2 Peter. These are those people. The ones who lift the flaps. Of the tabernacle of David. Because inside, they have a ark. An ark. The ark of God has been established because they have bowed, they have worshipped. See, we we come to church and we sing. Nothing wrong with that. But I can go sing at a party and feel just as much God as I do in church. Because it's just a song. It doesn't mean we've worshipped. Worship has to do with changing the position of your heart. It changes from stout, upright, yes. rebellious, and stubborn. To bent. Bowed. Bowed. Yes. And surrendered. This is worship. That's what the word worship in Hebrew means. It means to bow. And this is David's tabernacle. To bow. Bow for to what? The ark of God. The throne of God. The presence of God. The glory of God. So he said, yeah, they shall show forth my praise. So that's my little lesson tonight. What's the tabernacle all about? Not all about, but what's what's it about? You can tell me. I asked you this question in the beginning. Let's see if you are more educated now. No. What is the tabernacle about? Opening the flaps. Yeah, let's go back first a little bit. Further. Yes. Yes. It's good. Huh? What did she say? 
Pat yourself. Pat yourself. To bow. What's the first thing I told you? The tabernacle of David is? See the face? Us. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Us. This, oh, it's you. Yeah. You, tabernacle. you are the tabernacle, the tabernacle that God wants to rebuild. Mm. God wants to restore you. God wants to restore you. See, we're waiting for the church world to be yeah. restored. Yeah. We're waiting for something to happen in our church to be restored. Now you are the stones. Yes. Yes. You are the you are the living stone. You are the living stone. Yeah. You are the one. Two, two, two. That God wants to refresh. So God will enter Ufrushka. To rebuild. And restore. And the Reisam. It doesn't start with the person next to you. Yes. It starts with you. Bring your with her. Hallelujah. I am the tabernacle. What's the use of me going around the world and teaching the tabernacle of David if I myself was not having this experience? Can it ever not at the very near grey from the tabernacle? Or is it shallow having so living? That just be the dead letter. Oh, I've got a long way to go. We have a long way yet. Absolutely. Absolutely. But the tabernacle is being restored. Men, the tabernacle is being restored. Where the the I hate to use the word because this word is used in the philosophical, psychological world. And that or some people say that some we're brought to psychology or that the philosophy. But the word conscious. Men, bewusstheid. We must become conscious. We must be bewusst. Of God. Yeah. How many times today were you conscious of God? Where was he? Did we even think that I am his living house carrying his glory? And open the flaps. Oh, exactly. Thank you for being honest. <laughs> but, but that, it is that kind of honesty <laughs> that begins the change. Yes. He says, absolutely not. And I think, no, I don't think. I know we can all say, absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. Yes. But this is where God's calling us, yeah. drawing us, yeah. speaking to us, yeah. influencing us, yeah. giving us this opportunity yeah. to be the living tabernacle yeah. of God, yeah. where his, he, his head, yeah. his yeah. ark, yeah. his rulership, yeah. his kingship, yeah. his dominion, is settled in you. Where it's no longer about you. But it is about him. Hallelujah. And see, we can say that and we can shout about it, we can run around the building about it and say, oh, that's so exciting. But what do we do about it? Bow. Start bowing. Yeah. We've been going through some certain things that have to do with the church and the ministry. And the hardest thing to be doing at this present time is to bow. Yeah. I have wanted to fight. I've had a few words that I could say and some very drastic actions that I could take. But God told us shut your mouth and bow. Just bow. I'm going to take care of you. I'll take yes. care of this. It's got to take care of our house. All is well. After you are done. Yes. When you bow. Oh, because before the presence so of God. From yes. of the God in the presence of God. We are some God. Nothing matters. Here I'll look at each time. Because everything. Past, past toy, present, new toy, and future yeah. is there. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have I made any sense yeah. tonight? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. It's so powerful. The gift. So, yes. So that's what we are. We we are the tabernacle. And so, what are, what is our mission? Why? What when he says you're a chosen generation? A holy nation, a, a, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. Why? What, what, what is the purpose of these chosen people? The, the, these chosen ones, this people that he says, I formed for myself. What is their purpose? These ones that bring to birth, walk that way in the wilderness and drink from fountains and rivers in the dry place. What's the purpose of these people? Thank you. To reveal him. Not your need. Not your hurt. Not your pain. Not what you're going through. Not your crises. I sat in my... The, it's not my chair. I sat in the chair. Is that we stole the room? We were like, nothing is mine there. Yeah, I own chair. Except my clothes. Oh, my clothes. I sat in the chair. Is that the stole room? The other morning, very early. Oh, told you, I'm Morgan. And uh, it was it was wicked weather outside. Yeah, but Bemmel uh, weather, so far. Uh, it's a Bemmel. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, it was good. Oh, my God. It was windy and rainy. Yeah, and that's my favorite kind of weather. It's just hard to I could live here and just, you know, enjoy it because I love the wind and the rain. I just don't like how small everything is. I go to the supermarkets and it's like, there's no room. Everybody knocking you and bumping into you. Nobody says excuse me. It's just like bang, bang, I'm like, excuse me. I was, we were in FCOP the other day. And my wife and I were there. And and I said to her, I, I need to get out of the store. This store is claustrophobic. And they are claustrophobic. And we were in a, in an aisle. And, and this guy, he comes and you know, the aisles only about that wide, maybe a bit more. So we're looking at something. So we like that. And he just comes and and bumps me. Oh, I turn back. Oh, scoop. And I look at him. And I said, excuse me. I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> because you know I was in the way obviously <laughs> so I said excuse me he said um, and he went I'll say, he looked at me like are you okay <laughs> where are you from <laughs> so anyway I was in that chair the other day <laughs> and feeling sorry for myself or talk sin to myself and I'll admit it, I, I had tears flowing oh, down my face. Out. And I'm just like, oh, uh, I, I, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Right, babe? Amen. Just, you feel the pain. My foot boy, you know. So I picked up my laptop. So talk, tell it up. I need to tell somebody. I need to. Write to somebody. I, I need somebody to know mm -hmm. that I'm in pain. Yeah, yeah. I that. Come on. So I got my laptop and I'm <laughs> <laughs> And then when I finished writing my email, I went back to the top so for all of us to pay, and I read it. So that's it, huh? And I'm like, wow. <laughs> what a baby! <laughs> <laughs> and I like delete. <laughs> and I went to the Lord. Yes. I said, Lord, I'm so sorry. Yes. It's not about me. Oh, this is about you. Oh, yes. It's about your kingdom. Yes. 
your will be done. Let that's your kingdom. There's no kingdom without the king. So you may as well say, let the king come. So let the God say, let come, let come. Be established in me. Let us stir fast up. Let us fast up. Lift up the flaps. Let us come. Let us open the gate. And show forth your praise. Who is something true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's all stand and sing. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go. Can you turn off that?